Hi, my name is Michelle Tosillo. I'm the owner and creative director of Pink Monkey Events. I'm here today to show you how to make a vintage bouquet. So what we have here is a beautiful, beautiful bouquet done by City Blossoms. They're so gracious to do this for us. And we're going to show you how it's done and how you can add more elements to it. Your local flowers can create this or you can create it yourself. So these flowers are very, very soft textured so that lends its hand to the vintage look. We have some beautiful coral roses, we have freesia. We have so many beautiful elements in here that really lends its hand to having that wonderful textured look. Uh, we also have um, something that's called Ladies Mantle, which is really cool flower. It's kind of these little green pop-ups. Um, it depends on what the feel and look you're looking for. Lavender is also a great color to use for your vintage bouquet. So in this bouquet, it already in itself looks really beautiful and very soft. So basically what we got here is, say um, you ha you're dress fitting and then you have extra material. What a great thing is, especially with lace, or you can also go to any fabric store. You can get your lace from your dress and you can just wrap the handle. So you can have your already made bouquet without the hassle and then just get your lace. You can wrap the handle and this is something you could do yourself. So you're going to wrap the handle and then basically what you do is glue little dots as you go around. This is actually a really big piece but I just wanted to show it for an example and you're just going to keep wrapping it and you would just use the glue gun and just put dots. And you just want to be really careful because the glue will come through the lace a little bit, but good thing when the glue dries, it'll dry a, like a white color so you really won't notice it. So you're just going to keep wrapping it around. And then you'll glue the back. So that gives a beautiful lace kind of finish, definitely a vintage feel. To, it makes the pop, flowers pop personally. I also think a great idea for to add an el another element to this with texture is a brooch. You can add a brooch to that. So maybe a grandmother's heirloom or something like that. Or it could be just a brooch that you saw at a store that you loved. That's one look. If you don't like that look, we can take away the lace and we can also add something really fun. We can also add feathers. So feathers are something really, really fun. So I'm going to work these feathers within the bouquet. There you go. So I'm going to have them just peeking out just simply. and I'm not going to put too many in there and I'm going to kind of duck them in. We don't want them too far out. And I'm just going to add one more over here. So with this one I have a little bit of texture with the feathers and to give it a little bit of a vintage look and I can finish it off with maybe wrapping some pearls. So we could take some pearls and we could just kind of wrap it around the handle just like that. And you can either glue them or you can use um, other pins to affix them in. Or you can even tie it. So I could just do another round and go around. And then you could probably just glue it to the other element, which is really fun. That gives you a great vintage look. And last, which is really fun as well, is if you go to any um, tapestry store and you find some trim, this could be really fun as well. You can add some trim which would give it a really great vintage look. So you get some trim, so you go all the way at the top and you're going to go all the way around and you would be gluing this as you're going along. I'm just showing you as an example so I'm not gluing it because I want to take it off and then I would glue it all the way around. And Once I got here I would glue it and then I would just cut off any of this excess so I just have that one bead and I would just cut that piece off. It's a beautiful, beautiful look. If there's any way you can go vintage, you can't go wrong with lace or beading or pearls. So there you have it, how to make a vintage bouquet. My name is Michelle Tosillo, the owner and creator of Pink Monkey Events.